Step in my family. It should go mad. It's Rosh. But look, man, back with another reaction video. But look, man, thanks for tuning in with us on this reaction video. But if y'all new to our channel, man, let them know how they can be a part of the m &R family. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like this video. And if you guys want to stay tuned and drop videos, turn on the notification bell. Today we're back with more Mr. Beast. And the title of this one is $1 versus $250,000 Vacation. This got to be a good one. Right. Definitely. Daddy going into. from a dollar to that Get high. Mine. Yeah. I can't wait to get into this. But look, right. man, any other videos y'all want to see us react to on the channel, drop them things down in the comments. But look, man, don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. But let's get to this video. Let's get to it. In this video, we're going on a $250,000 vacation. This is beautiful. How is this real? <laughs> and I'm going to show you the difference between this and a $100,000 presidential vacation. Right this way, sir. A $50,000 vacation where we have the Eiffel Tower completely to ourselves. I'm holding on for dear life. All the way down to this $1 vacation. Right over here, boys. This shack is our vacation. You can see inside of it. There's no walls, Jimmy. <laughs> well, I mean, there's walls. This is gross. And in case you don't believe me, it's a dollar. Look at that. Oh, it's 93 cents. You're a liar. I rounded up to a dollar. For one dollar, we get this bed, which is honestly just a mattress sitting on wood planks, a broken cabinet, a light that sort of works. Oh, look at that. And lastly, random noises coming from your ceiling. I was hearing noise in the room, and there's a raccoon on our roof. I feel like most people would be mad if their hotel room had a raccoon, but for some reason, we're happy. When's checkout time? Tomorrow. Uh, Keep in mind that later in this video, we're going on a $100,000 vacation, a $250,000 vacation. Can we just jump cut to that already? No, because we gotta suffer so they can compare our suffering to our happiness. They do like when we suffer. Are we all supposed to fit on the single bed? If we wanted four beds, that'd be $4. First, let's get all the sand Wait. <laughs> The raccoon just ran in here. I'm gonna act like I didn't scream like a, a little girl. <laughs> Next, a vacation that's 10,000 times more expensive. Right, Welcome right, to the $10,000 a night vacation. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Yo, this is sick. Wait, what the heck is this? <laughs> this hotel room has jellyfish. Okay, that's so unnecessary. Oh, there's a pool outside. It's a private pool. Does this not look like a scene from a movie? Your hotel room walks out to the beach. Wow. Is this our own private beach? Oh my that, gosh. No. This is incredible. Drake, since when is water this blue? I don't know. This all-inclusive vacation <laughs> also has a giant spa. Oh, yeah. A park filled with flamingos. Oh, they're fighting. Oh. Flamingos. <laughs> and unlimited room service. OK, what do you need? All of it. <laughs> the only negative of this place is it doesn't have a raccoon. Hey, little guy. But I don't blame them for that. When you spend $10,000 at this resort, we each get our own floor of the building. It looks exactly like Jimmy's, except for I got the top floor. Oh, I have a hammock. I think I can make it in the hammock without getting wet. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> Yo, look at your view. Chris! Hey! Ow! Oh, I caught it! Three, two, one! <laughs> hey! All right, let me lay out some rules. Rule number one. Yeah. No more throwing pillows in my pool. <laughs> uh, rule number two. Sorry, Tariq. And now what the hotel is known for. <laughs> this insane infinity pool that extends over our own personal beach. How does the water right. just not overflow? I have so many questions. I feel like a father that took his kids on vacation and is just watching them hang out in the pool. Ah! Ah! The $10,000 vacation has been insane, but not as insane as our next vacation all the way across the planet. And now the $50,000 vacation in Paris. Whee! Baguettes. Our $50,000 vacation starts with a completely private luxury ferry ride. What is that? That's the engine. Bro, what is this, 1805? Tariq, 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 zoom in on that guy. He's filming us. That's how the boat really moving? moving? Or is that just something, like a feature that's no, on it? It makes it, it helps it move too. But like, is that the only motor? It's the engine. Bro, what is this, 1805? Tariq, 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 hey, Tariq like, zoom in on that guy. Real. He's filming us. Hey! <laughs> they went back. Do you have a YouTube channel? <laughs> I, I don't think he speaks English. This vacation comes complete with fantastic food, a tour of the entire city. All right. And a luxury hotel room with an amazing view. This is kind of romantic, huh? Yeah. You and Chandler should kiss. <laughs> and lastly, we have a very expensive surprise. So you guys are probably wondering. It's a fifty thousand dollar vacation, and we clearly haven't spent fifty grand yet. No. Yeah. Where Where is it? It's behind you. What do you That's mean? the Eiffel Tower. Yes. We have the entire Eiffel Tower completely to ourselves. Wait, actually? Yeah. What portion of the 50 grand was the tower? 
Almost all of it. <laughs> <laughs> we are at the Eiffel Tower. This feels like we're sneaking in. No, I'm not joking. It's ours. No one else is here. We can just go straight through the line. This feels illegal. Most of the time, this place is packed with people. And because we have the whole thing completely to ourselves, we're going to try to get to the top of the tower. I'm talking the very top. Boys, enough playing around. Let's head up. On the way up, we stopped at the first floor, over 187 feet in the air, where we had a world-class restaurant all to ourselves. I love how even though we have the in That's inside of that? I did not know that. No, that's crazy. Higher Eiffel Tower, they still put us in a corner of the restaurant. <laughs> that's the elevator coming from the top of the Eiffel Tower. That looks terrifying. Open sesame. Thank you. I can oh, see my house from up here. We're in France. I can see my hotel from up here. <laughs> Look how high up we are. Oh, my ears oh, are popping. Did it, did it. What are we working with here? Oh, oh my god. You can see the whole city <laughs> from here. My, dude, this is crazy. Tree. Look like, how much yeah, higher yeah, we have to go. Bro, this is never gonna right end. Now. I'm not gonna lie, I thought we were already at the top. <laughs> we're going up. Now we're heading to the top. At one point, this was the tallest building in the world. Should I jump right now? No, do not move. Come on, boys, follow me. From here on out, there's no Whoa. more elevators, just stairs. Oh, it's windy up here. We are high up there. Oh, oh my God. Oh my god. Oh, Whoa. Dude, don't drop the camera. We are standing over 900 feet in the air. The highest point civilians are allowed on the tower. But since it's ours for the night, I had one last surprise. What do you think's behind this door? Stairs. I should, did I, how'd you know? We can see the stairs. Well, yes, there are more stairs, but this takes us to the very top where no one's allowed to go. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh, Bro. Oh my god. Are we allowed on that? I don't know. Oh, oh, that is scary. The ledge just comes up to my waist up here. I am holding on for dear Bruh. life. I completely understand why tourists are not allowed up here. We have a cameraman on the other side of the city with a lens My zoomed in on us. He's over a mile away. away. If this lens is good enough, you should be able to see us waving. For a $50,000 vacation, you gotta That's admit this is cool. Great. This is amazing. It's a once in a lifetime it's experience. Cool. Are you ready for the best moment yet? I don't know why a YouTuber has this much power, but lights! Oh, there oh. we go. Oh my god! It's like a disco oh, show! Oh, Holy cow! Guys, I don't know if this next command's gonna work, but turn every light off! Oh, oh no! It's pitch black! Oh, the Eiffel Tower went dark! What are these millions of French people thinking right now? Like, what's going on? They should get me off this tower. I don't know why they gave me this much control. Next, we head to Switzerland for the $100,000 vacation. But this is no ordinary vacation. This hotel has two inch thick bulletproof windows, a panic button that will lock down the entire building and is riddled with security. Because this is a hotel where world leaders and presidents take their vacation. And also, the sidemen were in town, so I decided to invite them as well. Whoa. Oh my god! It smells like food in here. We've got the whole ocean in there. What? Oh. This is nuts. Wow. This is the most expensive penthouse suite in all of Europe. It covers the whole eighth floor and has dozens of rooms, tons of staff waiting on you all day and night, and absolutely crazy food everywhere. Wanna hit? Yeah, get of that. Oh, oh yeah. How do these guys compare to your normal guests? Yeah. <laughs> so you'd say they're pretty dumb compared to them. <laughs> and like I said before, some of the most powerful world leaders choose this place for their vacations. Even Bill Clinton stayed here and he wasn't assassinated. It's pretty safe. In terms of security <laughs> here, you have the bulletproof windows. Even this, this is bulletproof. Oh my, it feels thick. Uh, really solid. I hope. I'm a president. There are also some snipers that you can put on the rooftop. You have your own sniper? <laughs> are you able to negotiate on behalf of the sidemen? I can try my best. Yes, uh, this will help me in my negotiation. I'd like to buy 10%. How much, boys? No, you, the guy, you say. 200 million, Jimmy. 200 million. All right, to the panic button. <laughs> Oh, no. I'm not gonna lie, I've been waiting to press this button since we got here. We all agree this is a good idea. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Carl, you're Bill Clinton and you feel threatened. Press the panic button. All right, he pressed it. Oh, wait, I see a door closed. Wait, are we locked in? Is it locked? Are you guys in there? Is that Nolan? Yeah. The door's like shut. I walked off for one second. Which button uh, opens it? You don't get to panic and then open it. <laughs> they should push the button now, the police will come, and there's a big fine. Don't press it again. <laughs> I've been thinking, how would a president get somewhere like McDonald's? Let's see how presidents travel. Come on in. It turns out when you're the president, you have to go everywhere with your bodyguards, so that means when you drive. Oh, we got like a oh, motorcade. Oh, we got an entourage. Okay. 
<laughs> How do we know which car to get into? And the third on the fourth? Ideally the third or fourth, you said? Which car is the most dangerous? The first one. Nolan, you should ride in the first one. I can do that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to ride with me? Harry, come on in. Harry Chandler. I'm sure the president doesn't sit in the middle. Typically, you guys would be my bodyguards, but, you know, you'll suffice. Just squeeze in, mate. Squeeze in. What president is going to McDonald's? Does your window roll down? Hey, how's it going? No, now we're going to get a shot. Oh, now we're going to no. get a shot. Oh, I can't believe we can do this. <laughs> this is nuts. Turns out when you travel in a presidential motorcade, a lot of people start to notice you. How's it going? <laughs> this is bonkers, man. I thought we just drawing the attention of everyone. People are filming like we're the president. This is weird. Which made McDonald's a little awkward. <laughs> Excuse us. <laughs> <What? laughs> Don't mind our security. Jimmy, does this beat out the Eiffel Tower for you? Depends how good these nuggets are. Obviously, all the vacations so far have been amazing, but they pale in comparison to this next one. Our final vacation is once again all the way across the planet. And now we're in Japan for the $250,000 vacation. And we're meeting up with a special guest here, so you're gonna wanna watch to the end. To start off our vacation, we dropped off our bags at the most expensive hotel in all of Japan. This is gigantic. I have an echo in a hotel room. And afterwards, we felt like getting to know the city of Tokyo. Now we're gonna drive Mario Karts on the street. <laughs> we rented private Mario Karts where we literally get to drive on the streets of Japan. People are just staring at us. This is not meant to be on a street. There's real cars driving right beside me. Well, look how many people are crossing the street here. This is the busiest crosswalk in the world and we're driving right through it. <laughs> we're on go-karts in Tokyo. Bro, I love Japan. This place is crazy. <laughs> when we arrived Sorry. at our next destination, we met with Master Swordman Yoshioki Somita. He's been training with the katana for the last 26 years, and he actually agreed to give us a rare lesson in the art of the samurai. We each got our own katanas, and the lessons began with swinging techniques. It was not as easy as we thought. So. No! No, they're gonna zoom in on it. Then it was my turn. Boys, you think I'm gonna be able to do this? Yes. Yeah, you got it. Oh, he got it. Hey! Okay, Mr. Let's Beast. see how the boys do. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> Who am I? And then our samurai teacher gifted us this insane katana. I don't deserve this, but thank you. And because this is a quarter million dollar vacation, we rented out the most premium sushi chef in the world, along with this entire floating restaurant. They got Louis Vuitton oh coasters. The chef makes all the food right next to our table. And getting to see a master at work was one of the coolest dining experiences ever. Woo! Mm. Wow. Oh my God. Oh. They said we could feed the birds tuna. Here you go, little man. See how we caught him in air? And once we paid the bill, thank you. <laughs> we were off to the craziest place I've ever been. All right, follow me. I rented this whole place. But before we see it, socks off. This is basically an art museum, but for experience. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my God. I have goosebumps. My eyes are having a hard time processing it. I would have goosebumps too. Cause like, I like probably trip out yeah, to see that in tight. person. That's crazy. You think this is what it looks like when you die? Probably. What is this oh next row? <gasps> Normally, this place is completely full of other people, but we secured the place entirely for ourselves. This might be one of the best things we've ever wow. done. Dude, are these fish? We're in a pool in a museum playing with animated fish. This is the most unique thing you could ever do on a vacation. Wait, the fish are surrounding us. Look. How did they know to surround us? They love us. They're going everywhere now. Now you're all probably hungry, which is why we're at this restaurant that is ran by robots. What? Wait. My name is Pepper. Can we have a seat, Pepper? Sure. Let's find a comfortable spot. We reserved the entire place, so the only other people here were the robot waiters. Food robots here. Wait, so the food is delivered on a robot? An oddly fluffy robot. Pepper's staring really hard at Chan. Pepper does not like Chandler. Bro, I did Pepper's nothing to you. <laughs> Everyone, make sure you eat tons of food, because tomorrow I rented an entire theme park and PewDiePie's gonna be there. Which is really crazy. You see, PewDiePie and I have a long history. Mr. Beast, I was wondering when you would show up. <laughs> we helped him in his subscriber race against T-Series. Grab your phone, go on YouTube, search PewDiePie, and subscribe to him. Eventually, we even caught up to him. Mr. Beast has taken over me in subscribers. I guess I'm getting a taste of my own medicine. That's all right, he definitely deserves it. And even though we've been friends for a while, we've never actually met in person. And because this is such a long way to meet up, I rented this entire amusement park. This is Fuji Q Highland, the park with the scariest rides in all of Japan. A 
it usually has thousands of people waiting in line. But as per usual, I rented the entire thing just for us. You can ride whatever ride you want. I wasn't done, but he left. I'm about to go on this entire roller coaster alone. What you're seeing here is the steepest roller coaster drop in the world. Are you scared? Yes! Have fun! Oh, 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 oh. I wouldn't do it. Oh, I wouldn't do it. I'm scared for him. Woo! And like promised, the father of YouTube, PewDiePie, met us in the park. A little later than planned because I texted him the wrong day. Sorry, Felix. And he wanted to ride the craziest coaster at the park. Why are you scared? I'm so scared of roller coasters. This one, doesn't, this one doesn't spin at all. I'll ride it if Felix rides it. Let's go! I'm terrified. <laughs> I'll do it, I'll do it. If I die on this roller coaster, you guys are gonna feel terrified. You take your shoes off? Anything that could fly out. That's how you know it's bad. <laughs> they don't even trust us with shoes on this ride. You got this. You'll be fine. I did not. This was my worst nightmare. I'm scared. I'm scared. I don't want to do this. You're scaring me. Come down. <laughs> oh. Whatever you do, don't throw up. I'm terrified. Can we pick a better one? We could have picked a nice, comfortable ride. I actually have no idea what it is. At some point, there is a literal 90 degree drop. <laughs> You're freaking me out. <laughs> what did you sign me up for? You brought me out. here. But what we didn't know was. Quick, no! This ride goes backwards. Why are we going backwards? <laughs> Oh no! Oh my god, we're upside down! <laughs> this is crazy! Best roller coaster ever! I'm oh my god, for... Felix, what did we just do? I'm crying. Best roller coaster ever. I've got tears just running. Down. <laughs> Let's get Minnie and Jamie, I'm gonna head out. <gasps> yeah, we get screamed. Minnie and Jamie, I'll go head out. Get out. The what? first little bump. <laughs> what? Thank you. I don't think I've ever <laughs> had a chewy potato before. <sighs> That's what you get for passing me! What you <laughs> uh, Felix, I'm sorry for passing you. You don't have to threaten me with violence, though. So. They're good. Yeah, they are good. That was the $250,000 vacation. Felix, can you transition us? Bro fixed. That was tight. That was tight. They did a lot of stuff. Hey, that was tight. That was tight. I liked it, this video. Hey, I wish I could have been on them vacations with, with them. With them, right. Hey, so. that was tight, man. Shout out Mr. B. Shout out PewDiePie. I never really checked out any videos by um, PewDiePie. No, me either. That's crazy. I got I to gotta look up his channel and see what he do. But this was a tight video. This was a tight video. That's... Yeah. Dope. Let us know. <laughs> let us know what y'all think up in the comments. Let us know y'all favorite part of the video. But look, man, any other videos y'all want to see us react to on the channel? Drop them things down in the comments. But look, man, don't forget hit that like button, subscribe, subscribe to, to the, the channel. channel. But, but look, man, we, we catch y'all on the next video. video.